It could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. We'll get him, boss. No, you two are off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and attacks everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car. He'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yeah, just don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! Ah! <laughs> 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 
Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morales killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. Yeah, I'll be home before supper. Hey, you want to go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, Christ. Hey! Stop! No, no, no. We could draw about it later. Right now, we gotta get that bastard. Let's go. What the hell? We got a message from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! Before that idiot gets himself killed! Kill that motherfucker! Finding cover! Give every guy we got down here down!
Just wink me, asshole! You think you're the guy who's gonna kill me? can't stay hidden forever. For Adon to be feared, he's gotta be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. Morello wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morello and his gorillas in a crowd before they see us coming. 
The theater is going to be packed. And not just with saps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there, too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morello in public. In front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. Okay, boss. We'll get it done. You take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it? Sure, boss. Put your foot down, Tom. Can't believe after all these years we're finally going after Morello. Not his crew, not his family. Finally putting him in the ground. We're putting a lot of history to rest. What happens when he's gone? We'll be kings. Nah, I mean, what happens with the Don? You think he'll be all tore up? I think he'll start wearing a nice white suit. When did he... You got it. Got cops on us. Bunch of them were staked out around the theater. Last time they get paid off by Morello, tomorrow they're ours. It's off in the back streets. I know this city better than anyone. Don't worry. This is gonna be a squeeze. Morello's gotten himself a good driver, but he doesn't match you, Tom. Good. We need to clean house. He's got to die. This guy's got to die. Okay, but let's keep us three off your list. They only just fixed up the airport since the last time. Muscle waiting. I see him. Oh, shit. God damn it. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Uh, just a bit of glass in my hair. <laughs> Nothing a cheap comb can't fix. Then we go after him on foot. Come on. Morello's got to be close. Staying in the sky. That thing's not gonna let the cops are gonna come running, Tom. What was I saying? Oh, oh yeah. That thing's not gonna land, it's gonna crash. It look uh aeronautic to you. Thank Christ we got you in the car, Professor. Morello's not gonna walk away from a plane crash. That's a maybe, but he ain't dead till we seen him dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bastard's daddy doesn't even know it yet. 
See you on the other side, Marku. You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri? The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. <sighs> Old man that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Papone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22... Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello created Devi up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if we couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought... It just kept turning round and round in my head until one day... I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears of the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I, I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam could point a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, and the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough 
to betray you. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his cab again. The job needs doing, we're doing it. It just seems like a lot to put on the line. Even for some diamonds. If feds pinch us, we can do serious time. We have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, we give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. 